creating data models. Here we will look at the different types of data models that are present and then how we can create the ClickSense preferred star schema model. After that, how we can view and analyze the resulting model. And finally, how we can create a QVD for the entire model so that it can be used by other application. So let's move on to our first video type of models. So let's review the different types of model that are available for us. Here we have the very first standalone table model and this is a very simple and straightforward model. It reflects that all of your measures which are represented as fact and your dimensions are in the one table. So you don't have to really worry about all the joints and connections. It's just one simple table and it is used for a small applications which is not having a lot of data. The next model we have is the star schema model and over here you can see it is a star kind of end structure where in the middle you have the fact table which contains all the measures and it is surrounded by the dimensions the different dimension tables it is the clicksense preferred model for building the efficient application where the fact table is in the middle and it is surrounded by the dimension so whenever we try and create a big application which is efficient in nature within the click sense we try to achieve the star schema after that we have the snowflake schema which is similar to your star schema but only thing is the extended dimension tables and this is a little bit slow in nature when you are using in the click sense and the reason being is that when a connection is made between a fact and dimension table if it is a direct connection it is a faster retrieval of records but if a dimension table is further connected to other dimension tables then it has to make an additional effort the fact table has to make an additional effort by first creating a join over here then over here then over here if these are the dimensions that we are looking for so that's why we always try to get the star schema and if it is absolutely needed that for a business reason you need to create a snowflake schema there is no restriction on it but it is always advisable that you achieve for the star schema model so these are the three models at a high level that is present for us and we can make use of it and it is always recommended that you achieve the star schema model